So let's go back to Heaven's movie for a second. So you had done all these super successful albums. You had, um, you know, Creeping on the Come Up, Eternal, Art of War, and then you drop. Uh, Flesh was the first one to go solo. You were the second. Um, and you do that with Relativity. Um, what was that like at that moment? Because now at this point, it's all you. You know, if it succeeds or if it fails, it's all you. You know what I mean? And even business wise, you having to uh, handle your own business with relativity and all of that. There, right up there on the wall, man. Yeah, man. That movie was a big, big thing. Well, Lay first, Lay first was the first one to go solo, but that was when we were with a local record label, and Lay always had Lazy Bone Productions. So he kind of led the way in making sure you have your own as well. You know, Lay, Lay is, was groundbreaking in the business aspect of, of, uh, of Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. He in the business early. Like, yeah, that nigga's, that nigga's the Michael Bivens of the group. Yeah, no, always on it, yeah. Nigga, man, he, he learned it early, man. And, you know, eventually we all picked up on it and, you know, got, have our own take on it, but yeah, man, I'm just, you know, reflecting on, reflecting on that moment and that time, man, we were really, really, really about our business. We really knew the ins and outs of everything, man. Not so, to go off. <clears throat> no, it's all good. So when you do Heaven's movie, which went gold, I believe, uh, was that, was your was that the introduction of the bone du bone thugs brand into relativity because then y'all mo thugs was through uh relativity as well so was your solo oh, uh, album opening like, the door for that well the the easy e actually was like inking a big ass fucking deal with them like that's what he was in new york doing he was in a big ass deal with uh Relativity and Sony. Um, and so that relationship was built earlier on. And then after all the smoke cleared and shit with Easy E's estate, and they was able to do business, you know, with Bone and Under Roofless, they came back into the picture. And um, we worked out a really exceptional deal at that time that other, mother other motherfuckers haven't never heard of. It was money that motherfuckers never heard of. And everybody broke bread. Wishbone got money and he ain't even put out a solo record. It was that was the way our shit was set up. And you know, um, it was major, man. It was like because we were, it was like not something that you was doing by yourself, but it was a crazy bone record company coming. It was a lazy bone record coming. Flesh and Bone had already signed to Russell Simmons and them, and Russ gave him the bag. Like, Russ gave Flesh the bag. Like, Flesh got the bag. Before we knew what a bag was, Flesh and Bone knew what a bag was. I'm talking M's. Like, he got the first bag out the crew because he wasn't signed. You know what I'm saying? They were scared. They were scared of that nigga, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? They was fucking afraid of him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, he was able to get with Russ and them and he got the bag bag. So as he led the way, we were like, shit, we finna get the bag too. Cause it was like, y'all can also do shit on your own, make some money, open a label, do some shit like that. Like everybody was coming in, giving us like good advice. It wasn't, it wasn't like 100% demons and shit. Like you got vultures and shit, motherfuckers is just around you trying to get quick dollar. But it was some good motherfuckers out there that was like, you know what? Do this, do that, do this. So we listened, got us a good attorney, and um, man, got to that bag, man. And yep, I dropped next. I, they was like, B, you go first, because all the people will fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? As far as from us four, because I because Flesh had success with Run. Um, shout out to Run from Run DMC, Recipes Jam J, Montel Jordan. You know, he had a lot of success with those motherfuckers. Like his shit was going gold and platinum and shit. So, you know, that was our aim, you know what I mean? So we, Big Bruh led the way when it came to that solo endeavor shit. 